All right, I'm going to wrap her up um, for those three lakes. We're going to do these two lakes next, uh, Dinosaur Hill right here. I'm just going to keep it to, to two. Uh, doing this three took a long time. This was uh, time consuming. We're down here. So the three featured in this one are this lake down here, which used to be a wonderful spot for farming for the uh, great one. Uh, <clears throat> no longer. There's two males that show up here. Um, and we did this lake, which used to be a hot spot for um, cougars. It still is. The whole map is a hot spot for cougars, for crying out loud. Um, uh, here we found six females, bears. Here, um, just two uh, males. And from here... I just went up the, the pass and down into two farms, three males here. Problem is uh, a bazillion um, <laughs> cougars, and they're here all day. They were here all day, all day, all day, all day. Um, that Not only did they uh, mess with the black bears, they messed with the elk. Great spot for elk, two fawns. Two fawns is no longer, it used to be like 20 or more uh, black bears here, not anymore. Um, there were, how many? There were two males and two females, four. Um, so I'm going to put this at the front of the video and in case you don't want to watch it because this is long. This took a long time to do these three lakes. I'm not going to do that again. Uh, we'll just keep it to one or two lakes at a time, but I will do all the lakes. Um Bottom line, uh, this is a great spot for everything except black bears. <laughs> uh, and of course, the uh, pronghorn and the bison don't show up here. Um, but everything else, uh, there is. this is great, absolutely great for elk. Uh, big elks here, lots of big golds, uh, four of them. I, um, every time I, I, made a, I made a trip here on the rotation, uh, trying to get all the, you know, visit for all the drink times, uh, there were um, there were at least three uh, level four um, elk here, and, and a lot of threes. So big gold elk here. Um, you can watch the video when you have time, but I, that that's the recap: is uh, two males here where there used to be you know a dozen. Um, and, and I understand, I understand making it more challenging and I don't have a problem with that. What I have a problem with is, uh, the cougars are, uh, omnipresent and there's too many of them. So, uh, code riders, your dirty dogs, you got to dial that back. You got to dial that back because, um, bottom line here so far is that, um, Silver Ridge Peaks just isn't that much fun. Uh, if, if, you, if you're farming for the great one, um, it's fun. I mean, I love this game. Don't get me wrong. I love the game. Obviously, I wouldn't be doing this. I, I, but, man, uh, it's, it's, it's tedious. Um, I think what I'm going to do, once I get all the lakes, I'm going to do all the lakes. We'll do, we'll do a Dinosaur hill, hill next. All the lakes, all the zone times for all the animals that appear at them. Um, what I'm going to do next is, uh, reset my character to level one. Yeah, I like to do that. I do. I like doing, I like being level one, man. And I'm going to go to Reventuli. And I have not been to Reventuli, uh, at all, ever. Um, and I have purposely not watched any YouTube content on it because I want to go in as a total green pea. And the only thing I've watched is a trailer, but that was over a month ago. I don't even remember what's there. I do know that there, uh, the great one black bear can be there. I do know that there are uh, moose, and I do know that there are red deer. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to put this in the front and uh, of the video so you don't have to watch the whole video because I think it's going to be pretty dang long. But you should watch. I mean, why wouldn't you watch? And um, and, and and if you do, you know, uh, hit the like button um, because I said so. <laughs> and it's my birthday. That's right. 10752. Uh, 10752. I was born. So I am 70 years old. I've never said that before. And the reason for the hat is not only am I older than you and everybody watching this, uh, so is this hat probably. I bought this hat in 1972. So this hair hat is, uh, 50 years old. So it's older than you. Anyway, I'll uh, see you on the next one, man. Have a good day.
Okay, I wasn't recording. I forgot to turn it back on, but that is with this pistol from two, what was it? 245, almost 246 yards. Now it's a 243 round. Uh, that went right where I was aiming. So there, there was no drop. Now I was a little, shooting a, a little elevated from a little elevated position, but that went flat. That bullet went flat at where I was aiming from 245 yards with a handgun. Um, wow, I'm impressed uh, with, with, with that action. That's pretty darn good. 245 yards. This one was closer. Uh, 140. Uh, but again, there's no drop. I'm impressed with that. No drop uh, for a pistol. The rifle scope on it. <laughs> Rest zone. <laughs> Death zone. Um, where are we at? We're right here. I'm trying to get up here to um, two fawns. Uh, I want to check it out. We're going to do that on today's video, and we'll do this little lake, and we'll do this little lake down here. Uh, this little lake right here, and two fawns used to be the, the hot spots for the bears. I want to see what they look like now. That's what we're going to do today. Okay, we're in this spot. I wanted to check this out. This used to be a hot spot for cougars. Now we've got that, there's two bears over there, both females, a two bear and a three bear. There's another two bear over here. It got foggy. Yep, there it is. It's a two bear here, female. So that's three. And there's another one over on this side of this little lake. Another female, three bear. I am surprised. I didn't expect any bears to be here. This used to be, I'll show you where we're at. This used to be a hot spot for um, cougars. Now the cougar, we're in the cougar zone now. It's it's twenty one twenty seven. The cougars start at twenty one hundred to midnight or midnight thirty. The bears uh, start at twenty one twenty hundred eight o'clock at night until midnight. I am surprised that there is bears there. There never used to be bears here. Never. Um, so there you go. But they're all females at this point. Now, if the mountain lions come in, uh, they'll spook these. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh my goodness. But they're all females. So three females right here, right underneath me. My tripod is up on this uh, ridge. You see it right there? And that's just like, I'm making my way up to two fawns to see what it's like after the change. Uh, so that's where I'm at, right there, if you can see. And I put the tripod up on this um, this cliff. Wow. Um, all females, though. Uh, so that's interesting. It's interesting that they're here. It's good that they're here. Let's see if we got... Uh, that's the two bear on that side. So they have three zones around here. One on the corner there, one in the middle, and then one on the other corner, the other edge. Uh, it's foggy, so I'm sorry, it's foggy. Uh, it'll clear up and I'll, I'll uh, scout around when it clears up. All females. Now, if I take these bears on this side, that will not spook the ones on the other side because they're far enough away. These guys are extremely close. I could do this with a pistol. Um, interesting, interesting. All right, we just got a warning call. So the, the cougars are coming in, uh, which means all these bears are going to spook. So I'm going to go ahead and take one of these. That's a two bear, a two bear, and a two bear. Um, 
just because I need money. And they are so close. Whoops. Hold, hold. Come on. One. Two. There were four of them there. I can't hold. Three. Now that should not have spooked the one on this side unless the mountain lion did. And the mountain lion, now I just scared off the mountain lion though. Yeah, see this three will stay right there. Because she's far enough away that she didn't hear the rifle shots. Let's see about that other two that was over here. Now that mountain lion was coming in. This this one probably heard the rifle and the gunfire. So interesting. There's one down there. The other the other ones are down. There's another one down there, and the other one didn't go far either. So they're right there. One, two. Okay. One, so there's those three down. There were four right here in this corner, all female. Now what I could do, and I might do, is do a, a swap. You can do an animal swap, males for females. Uh, the way, at least you used to. I, I don't know if I still can. I'm going to go ahead and take this three out of here. Like I said, I need the money. That's the only reason. Uh, the way you do that is, if I take out three females here, and I quickly go to another spot where there's a male bear, or three male bears, then I don't want them in that spot for some reason. There's a 50-50 chance that when they respawn, they will swap, and the males will come here, and the females will go to the place where I took the males out. It would be nice to have this full of males and to swap them out. Um, now, I don't know that I want to do that because I haven't found, you know, the other, I found a couple of spots for males, but I like them right where they are. I don't want to swap them out. I want those males to respawn right where they were. Um, so I don't know that I would do that. Um, but this would be sweet if, the, if I did want to. That's a, a male mountain lion. And it's going to want to come in. It's going to need to calm down after all that rifle sh shooting there, all that gunfire. Anyway, that's just uh, something to think about. Again, uh, we are right here. This used to, oh my gosh, this, I am getting uh, some pressure on. Uh, this used to be a hot spot for mountain lions. They used to, they used to be right here. I got Rocky Mountain elk there at four in the morning. I'm going to reset the clock to four in the morning uh, and, and see what the elk situation looks like. We also have Rocky Mountain elk here at four in the morning. And it looks like just the black bear spot. I, I didn't get this one. I met, I, this one didn't go down. I was talking and I messed up the shot. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, this used to be um, mountain lion. Um, great farming area for mountain lions. Interesting what's going on. Okay, and here's our big cat. This is the one that was squawking a minute ago. I'm going to go ahead and take it. And uh, I might swap out the scope right here so you guys can see better. But that's not bad. You can see that. If I can get the rifle down. <laughs> All right. It went into the lake. There it is. There, oh, that's, oh no, don't float. <laughs> Let's see how many more cougars show up. Man, we still have two more hours on their zone time here. Looks like the fog went away. Maybe we can get a little better view here. Yeah, oh good, yeah. The, the fog is dissipating. So there's the eight mythical right there. Don't float. I won't be able to go out in that lake and get it up against this cliff. And then we got the uh, the three bears, <laughs> and uh, on that side one ran, and that's fine. One got away. I, they're all female. Like I was saying about that, 
uh, swapping out males for females that you used to be able to do to, uh, if I didn't explain that right if I want all of these to turn into males what I would do is go somewhere else maybe find a bear, bears and rest zones if I had those already established you know a single rest zone for a single male bear and um, kill the, the male bears you know, the equal number to the number of females here, so three females. And there's a 50-50 chance on the respawn that they would trade places. So if I had a level six bear in a rest zone somewhere all by himself, and he's the only one using that rest zone, and I took him out, there's a 50-50, along with one out of here, there's a 50-50% chance that that male would respawn here and the female would respawn in the male's place. Used to be, I don't know if that'll still work. And I'm, I'm waiting to see if any more mountain lions came, come in. Now, so far, just the eight mythical. Oh my goodness. <laughs> A nine legendary showed up. My, what? <laughs> First time at the lake, right? I'm, I'm level 15. So we'll go ahead and take that. I'll switch to the night vision scope if you guys can't see this. I think you can see that pretty well. Oh, I'm zeroed for 82. We don't want that. Uh, <laughs> unbelievable. All right, let's try this again with the right zero on the gun. Um, let's make sure you can see it. Come on, come on, come on. I can't see it. Maybe I should have used a night vision, but I believe... Yeah, it went down. We got a splotch over here. All right. Yeah, we got a seven walking in. They come right over the top of this ridge over here. And they come in that way. Uh, they also come in over the ridge or from this side. That's where the nine legendary came in. And I don't see its carcass, so I'm kind of worried. I messed the shot up on a possible diamond. I've already messed up two diamond on this uh, reset. You know, uh, coming in at level one. And uh, man, I, I hope I didn't mess that up. I don't see its carcass over there, so it has me worried. I thought it was lined up good, but the rifle was moving. Uh, I can't hold my breath for very long. I'm going to switch the scopes out uh, just so that you guys can see uh, better. I'll be right back. It seems to be the only one there right now. It's giving a mating call. Uh, I might wait and see if he calls in some more. There used to be about seven or eight of them that would show up here. This was just a great place to uh, to farm for them and to make money. They pay really well. Uh, doesn't look like the ladies like his voice. Where'd he go? He got really close. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. <laughs> if you insist, let me get that to 82. That's all we need on this. Whoa, what was that? Did you see that? Now I'm afraid to take the shot because I don't know where he is. I mean, it says he's there, but he was there, and he just all of a sudden teleported down here. What the heck was that? What was that? Code writers, you got some work to do, you dirty dogs. Dirty dogs, yeah. That was there, and I, I didn't take it. I don't like that shot. It's not running around, so... 
Maybe it worked. I was a little too far on his side. I wasn't, but it looks like it worked. Hi. Let's see if some more come in. We still have a, almost two full hours in their zone time. The two bear coming back in on the other side. This is just uh, less than a minute after uh, I I, uh, I got the uh, seven bear down, uh, seven cougar down. So they coming in off of these ridges, off the ridge all the way that that. Oh, there is that the same one? That's the same one, isn't it? Yeah, just the two. Now we got something squawking over here. And that's another mountain lion, and this is a ma another male mountain lion. We already got a seven and an eight, so this will scare off that uh, female two bear. That's fine. And here comes the fog again. Wow! This so this little spot right. Uh, get on the map. <laughs> that little uh, spot right there that used to be a hot spot for uh, mountain lions. It's oh man, I gotta. Maybe slow down a bit. We get too much pressure here. I don't want to lose any of those zones. What I'll do is I'll, I'll work my way on up here to two fawns, and we'll do some business up here and uh, lighten the load up here before I come back. Uh, reset the time for 4.30 for the um, the elk zone time here. I'm not going to worry about um, any other animals here. There won't be any pronghorns or mule deer or bison that come up here. I don't think. Goodness, so that one that was squawking at us, this is 30 seconds at, at, at later here, um, literally, after we I heard him squawking, is an eight mythical. So this is the second. So we had two eight mythicals, a nine legendary. Hopefully it's not a troll. Pretty amazing. Uh, first time at the lake. I'm level 15. By the time this is done, I'll be level 16. This should get me up a level. And look at them. They're coming right under me. But see the wind over there on the wind meter? They can't smell me. They can't see me. And they can't hear me. Kind of a perfect storm for me. Uh-oh. The highlight wore off. And he's moving. That might have been too low. It was. That was too low. Let's see if we can save it. I can't hold my breath, so the rifle is going to wobble like I... Oh, it went down. Ah! Ah! Uh, I guess I got enough lung. Oh, and I... <laughs> it's only 30 seconds have gone by here, guys, since I shot that thing. On the other side. Look at that. Look at that. Another three shows up. My goodness. Oh, that's the one I missed, right? That's the one that I shot, and it didn't work out. Well, let's fix that. I'm going <laughs> to... I should probably reload, you think? Might need a bullet. Where is it? Ah, oh, the fog, you know. Uh, I think we'll be better off with the regular scope on this. So now I have another two coming up over here by the, <laughs> on the left. Oh, my goodness. If it goes behind these trees, I won't have a shot. I'll have to get out of the stand and work around. But it's going to come right at me. Unbelievable. This other three is on this side. Now... If I take that three that we that we were just talking about, this one won't hear it. I'm just really hesitant to uh, keep killing these things because even though I'm in a tripod and you're supposed to be able to take out 15 from a tripod before you lose zones, the pressure's getting pretty heavy over here. Now, I could take this two, and that three on the other side will not hear the shot. So I'm going to do it. We'll see um, what happens to the zones here. Hold still. Good grief. It's down. Um, now over here, 
That three bear didn't even know. And I, and I messed, I shot at this thing before I hit it. Didn't take it down. Um, I'm gonna hit it again because I really don't care about integrity here. I just want it dead, and it is. <laughs> uh, very nice. Okay. And that should have been vital. Now, we have... <laughs> we have just crushed this little pond, this little lake. I think that's all the business we're going to be able to do here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now, the zones are still there. The zones are still there. I didn't blow anything out. Now, I do want to come back here, and I will, uh, for the other zone times for the other animals. But let me go collect these, work our way up to Tufan, and get the hunting pressure off of here. Let's see what Tufan looks like uh, since the reset. Um, I'll let you know if that's a diamond or not. Oh, man, if I mess that up, I'm going to be... That'll be the third diamond I've messed up on this go-round. Well, I did I did not mess up that diamond. We did get uh, left lung, right lung, stomach, liver. I mean, that's just a great shot. But it was a troll. So, it, it, well, it does say nine legendary there, but it was a troll. 38.85. So, uh... You dirty dog. You dirty dogs, you. There's one of the eight mythicals. Uh, 38.85 is the exact same trophy rating as that nine legendary was. You dirty dogs. Ah. This is the other eight mythical. Uh, 38.81, a little bit smaller than the uh, troll <laughs> diamond and the other uh, eight mythical. This is the one that I thought went back up under the rocks. That was the seven. So um, that worked out pretty good. I was afraid I missed that. I was a little too far off to his right. But it looks like I snugged it in. I wait for him to turn around. Yeah, see, I was afraid I was too far right. But it worked out. So we made a ton of money here. Let me check this out. All the zones are still here. Uh, everything that we just did there paid us, you know, in excess of 1200 bucks. Uh, those eights and that nine legendary were all like, what, uh, 16, $1,600 range. So nice spot. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm coming up on what used to be, uh, one of the best hotspots for black bears right here. It used to be like 20 of them and we reset the time to 2000 uh, I killed a bunch of stuff on the way up <clears throat> in the morning. Reset the clock. And uh, right off the bat, the wind is at my back. And it used to be in my face. So, uh, that's a change. And what we're hoping is there's still black bears here. There should be. I doubt uh, that there'll be 20 like there used to be. But we'll find out in a minute. Well, no black bears. I mean, we're here right at the beginning. But... These guys are going to come down in about an hour in game time. There's one right there. we got a rest zone for it. The rest of the lake is empty. Yeah. Um, but the zone time has just begun. I'm going to have to get over on that other side or something because the wind is not my friend on this side. And they made it foggy. The dirty dogs. Now the bears used to come in right over there. But the wind didn't used to be at my back like it is. And they used to come in right through here. And load up right over here. We'll see what has changed. Now the fog... It has changed. It used to be crystal clear over here. I don't think I ever encountered fog over here. Worked the heck out of this spot, man. Uh, two fonts uh, up there, right there. Um, 
work the heck out of it. Um, those splotches are from this morning when I ran up here. That I, I killed a bunch of nothing to write home about, and um, or a few nothing to write home about. Oh, here we go. What's this? All right. What's that? Ah, it's not a bear. I was hoping. It, where's the bears? Um, no bears. These guys are just traveling through. We are not here in their drink time. We are here in bear drink time. We're only about 10 minutes into it, uh, in game time, 10 in-game minutes. So the problem is they start at 20 hundred and the mountain lions start at 2100. And we saw one in a rest zone up there, so we know one's gonna come on down. We'll just sit tight. Oh, for crying out loud. Um, I'm getting calls from elk. Now, their drink time is at four in the morning. It is a little after eight o'clock at night. But I'm getting elk calls here at Two Fawns at eight o'clock at night. Is the fog not, the fog is dispersed, I think. I mean, we got a beautiful clear night, but we had a bunch of fog. I think we can use the night vision. Yeah, we can use the night vision. Um, that's where the bears used to come in and they used to load up over here. Uh, so this, there's our, are three that we spotted earlier. It's the only thing that has shown up. Oh, what time is it? Oh, it's almost 2100. Um, we've been here longer than I thought. And oh, what do we have here? So elk? Uh, interesting. Huh. Come down that slope, and there's a big old slope over here, but they're protected by the trees. I don't want them coming in this way. Uh, I'm not worried about the wind at my back because uh, they're if they come in down here on this side, they're all over 200 yards away, and they cannot smell me. Um. So we have what? Is that a Tom? That's a Tom. Um, right there. Oh my goodness. Well, let's get out the old 22 and see if we can blast it. Uh, oh crap. I need to put the night vision scope on. Um, can I see it? The naked eye? Is that it? I hear it. It's dead. <laughs> well, we will wait. We will wait. And the animals will come. Yeah. S'il vous plaît, por favor. No, ciao, bambino. We'll wait. Uh-huh. Ooh, we got one. Okay, so there's one on that side. Really close to me. Uh, here's that turkey, that Tom, he's over here, so really close to me. Now that's not unusual, um, in the olden days they came there before the reset, they would come down this way, a couple of them, so we have a five bear, let's see what the other side looks like, he can't smell me, oh, is that one or is that just a dark spot? That is one. That is a female two bear. So we have two. 18 to go. <laughs> now it's going to have to happen if these things start coming down. And their zone time has started now. It's after 2100. Uh, and we've got till midnight on both of them, on both the bears and the um, cougars. So whoopsie what do we have here 
that's for some reason there's elk. So I have a feeling when we come back here during the elk, there's a three. When we come back here during the elk time, which is what I'm going to do next, uh, there's another turkey. And that's an elk probably, right? Yeah. Um, I'm going to reset the clock to 4 a.m. And we'll get the... Um, let's take this guy out before the, the cougars show up. And we'll, that'll be the elk uh, zone time. So we'll check them out. 82 yards? Yeah, we're good. He'll go down. Whoa, he's running a long time. Did I not get that in there? I did get it in there. He went down. All right, we'll just keep on awaiting. And sure enough, not 30 seconds after we took down the five bear, here they come. So that's going to spook this one. Yeah, up there went the two bear. So, man, uh, going to be tricky. I think, yep, 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 we have a seven trotting in. I think what I might try to do, so we can either take these out early before midnight and hope the bears come back, or, uh, you know, work the area you know, find their rest zones. Oh, man, there's a bunch of them coming. There's an 8 Mythical coming in. Uh, it's 7 lit over here somewhere, didn't it? And um, what I was going to say was try to find all their uh, rest zones and feed zones and that kind of thing and c kill them all <laughs> before. <laughs> uh, hey, this one is still taking a nap. Um Kill them all before 21 or 20 hundred so that the hey look at this look at this that was that was never there before that's cool they're too far away from me to do anything about it um i don't know if that can be done i don't think i'd be able to kill them all <clears throat> you know if i can you know before 21 hundred. so um gonna be real challenging I like it though. I, I like it because, you know, it was getting so predictable. I mean, you can come here during their feed time, their drink time, and which, you know, started like around 1700, I would get over here. And you could work this until 2200, you know, and there'd be about uh, 20 bears over here. Um, that's changed. And we're just going to have to figure it out. But that's why I'm doing this video. So we can get a look. See what we're dealing with. Well, looky here. That is the 8 Mythical. He lit right there. Same place where we took that 5 Bear out. And he's got a 7 friend with him. Uh, we'll take out the 8. See what the 7 does. Are we 0 for 82? Yes, we are. Him down. I can't get the sight over there. Oh, there's another one. That What's that? That almost looked like a, um, um, what you call it? Bighorn. But it's not. So there was another one in the grass over here I didn't spot. But we got the eight mythical down. We'll see what they do. <clears throat> now that's a, a bighorn level four out there at about 300 yards. Now, he's not worried. Well, I don't have the... Uh, what does? It says traveling. I don't have the uh, the perk or skill that tells you what their temperament is. Now, he's not worried because the other zone for the uh, cougars is on this side. It's far enough away. Uh, there was a 7 over here. There it is. And... There might be some more in these trees, and we'll have to change our point of view to see them. Uh, down this other coast. Or bank of the um, lake. The shoreline. I'm... 
Now there were three of them here. There was a seven and another one that skedaddled after I hit this thing. He was in here and I didn't even know it. Um, this is going to be a difficult lake to hunt bears. Uh, at least from the first visit here. So I think what I'm going to do is the swap. That other spot that we did earlier had all those females. Now that looks like there's something right there. That's just a shadow. And um, what I'm going to do, I think, if this continues to be like this, is not use two fawns anymore um, as a black bear hunting zone. So I can swap out, I'm going to try anyway, to swap out the male for the female. So what I'll do is uh, kill one female uh, over here, um, where was it? Right down here. Right down here, there was, uh, what, four or five females? They were off, there were like five bears, and they were all females. And um, and then the mountain lions came in, and uh, that's where we got uh, a whole bunch of mountain lions. You know, it's a few minutes back in the video. Um, so I, if I'm going to kill one female here. I'm going to come back and then I'm going to come over here and kill the male that respawns in that five bear spot. Then I'm going to go set the time back 24 hours and see if on the respawn they swap. So we get the female here because I'm not going to want to hunt bears here. And it doesn't seem. And then hopefully that five bear uh, or whatever is going to take its place here on the respawn. We'll, we'll swap with it and be over here. And we can keep doing that and get the five bears that were here, the five females over here to turn into five males. And, um, and I had the tripod up here. I'm carrying it with me. That's why you don't see it. And this will be easy pickings. That's what I'm going to try. I think, unless this changes up here. Yeah, this is interesting. This is in the, um, elk drink zone. Now there's a seven that we didn't see last night. There's a four, and there's another four off to the right. There's a two. There's another four over here, um, right there. He looks smaller than this one. This one looks really good. Um, and that's a three. So this lake, now that seven was not there last night. There's another four. It has turned into a major um, elk hunting lake. And not so much on the black bears. We've seen a total of three. And these guys have been here all the way through. I'm going to get him. Um, I think I still have the night vision scope on it, though. Dang it. I do. Um, they have been here, apparently, all night. Um get him spotted again so code riders hello um need a little help here so these mountain lions have been here since 2100 it is now 0500 i got here around 0400 and they were still here so they were spooking off the um the elk so basically if you're going to have mountain lions here from 2100 all the way till it's it's five in the morning now it's 0500 uh isn't it yeah the sun's up so it is um you're basically turning the lake and all the zones into a mountain lion zones because the bears couldn't hang around and then the elk just started coming, and they couldn't come in until just now uh, because the mountain lions are here from uh, 2100 all the way to 4 in the morning. Now, this 7 over here is going to wander off I finally. If not, I'm going to kill him. You dirty dog. You dirty cat. You dirty kitty. I should be careful what I say. Um... Anyway, 
Code writers, a little help here. We need some adjustments. I know there's some fours here. Uh, this is just really wonderful for elk. I know there's some fours here, but I'm going to kill this one because he ran me over. <clears throat> See my health bar over there? This one right here. Yeah, I know it's you. Yeah, I got run over by a reindeer. So um, we're going to kill it instead of the, uh, the fours uh, first because revenge. That's why. That's what you get for running me over, you dirty dog. Now, I just spotted another mountain lion right there. Now, it is almost 0700. And so, these elk did not come back. Is that him? There he is. She. So, the elk zone is right here where there were, uh, there were two fours, two threes, um, a level two male. And um, they're not coming back. There you go. That one's running away. So, Code Riders, um, we need an adjustment here. Uh, these mountain lions have been here since 2100. It is 0700. Okay, so we're here at Two Fawns. Checking out the uh, zone time for the bighorn, which is noon to 1600. And then right after that, we'll get the mule deer. Uh, they come in at 1500, so they have a little bit of an overlap. So we're going to check that out. Um, running down here, um, there are elk all over the place. So Two Ponds has become an elk hunting place for sure. What? We got a bear? We got a bear? He must have a rest zone here. Yeah. It's a female. That's um, all I'm seeing here. I made three trips. Oh, here we go. So I told you, the elk are just all over the place. Um, basically, all day and all night. So, um, two fawns is definitely where you want to be, or one of the spots you want to be for elk. Um, the other one is the, up, the lake in the upper left-hand corner. Uh, again, I, I came here uh, for the bighorn. Check out the bighorn zone time. That's what we're in. We're in the right in the beginning of it. And then I'll stick around. There they are. Then I'll stick around for the um, the mule deer. We'll see how that looks. But elk aplenty here. Man, one just ran right in front of me. Oh, there's the bear. We don't want to take it. It's a, it's well, if I can get the scope of uh, the a knocks up um it's a two it's a two bear but an elk looked like at least a three uh ran right in front of me they are all over this lake all day that's a three i believe this is a three and i believe that is a three and there are two fours in the hood as well and there were uh, two fours that I passed on the way down coming to the lake. There's the one that ran in front of me, I think. Yes. It's also a three. We might do this. Let's see if the if I can get a pistol on it. If he uh, slows down. Nope. Not really here for them. So I might just let him go. Now that's probably some more uh, bighorn. Yeah. Oh no, more elk. Look at that. Look at that. There's a four. So that's like uh, four fours that I've seen over here. Unless it's the same fours just running around the lake. We've got a whole bunch of threes over here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, these things just don't ever leave. I mean, they just do not leave the lake. Uh, he's glitching bad too. I have no idea what he's doing. I'm going to kill him because, man, they don't leave. I don't even know if I, if he's going to, if he's real, uh, the way he was glitching. Uh, but they haven't left. I mean, they're just so, need a tune-up on that. There's another mountain lion running off right, I, I lost him. There he is. Right there, Nate Mythical. And another one here. 
Uh, this is all day, guys. All days. Uh, all day long. So, I don't know if I can get this guy. He is just screaming by. Whoa. Whoopsie. Um, all day. Uh, they haven't left. All day and all night, I should say. I'll take care of him. And we got, we got the eight mythical running off that way. But um, I guess what I'm trying to show here is that the mountain lions don't leave. Um, they don't leave the lake area, even for their rest zones and their um, uh, their feeding zones. They stay around the lake, so they wreak havoc with everything all day long and all night long. Might be something that the uh, developers want to look at adjusting. Maybe. All right, this is what we're here for. Uh, at this time, the mule deer zone has just started. It's 1,500. We still have the bighorns overlapping. They're here till 1,600. The mule deer are just starting to come in. I did take, there we go. I did take a uh, level four uh, Rocky Mountain uh, uh, well, a bighorn, bighorn sheep out of here. Um, big herd, lots of females on the bighorn. But, the pre oh, here we go. The previous day, uh, I did take three fours out of here. So I'm, I'm making several rounds during their zone times uh, to give them the opportunity, you know, to develop. Uh, because the first time you come to a lake, a lot of times nothing shows up. So this is the third time around on their, um, their each one's zone times. The first time with the mule deer, however. All right, so the mule deer were, were smack dab in, the, in the, uh, the middle of their zone. And so they like um, this end over here, just same as the elk, the elk like that end, and over here where they are mingling with the uh, bighorn sheep because they are overlapping by an hour um, on their zone times. The sheep, the bighorn being uh, noon until 1600 and the mule deer being 1500 until 1800. Let's see if we can make that shot. What am I? 0 for 328. I forgot how far it was. Did you guys remember? Whatever it was, I got it. I, I, I don't think that was quite 300 yards, and I was uh, zeroed for 328. But uh, we, we uh, how far was that? Let me see. I forgot. You know, I'm sitting here talking, and so he was 288. He's going to float to us. Oh, is that a good, is that a four? That looked like a good size. Um, whoops, where am I? Big horn. No, it's a three. Anyway, there you go. All right, so if you want to hunt bears here, which I am not going to, um, not too bad. Um, I floated over here. I take out the um, the mountain lions uh, beforehand. The good thing about them being here all the time which is what I'm finding on my map. They're here all the time, uh, is that you can get them. So I took out a couple of um, mount lions here. We got that seven here and a couple more over here, the eight. Um, you can take them out before the uh, before 20 hundred, uh, eight o'clock at night, uh, if you want to do the black bears here. I'm not going to do the black bears here because there's only four. Now there's two males and two females on my map at two fawns right up here. Um, what I'm going to try to do is swap them out with females in another location. Um, and I'll, 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 when I do that, I'll explain it again, uh, how you can swap males for females. Uh, the four, I took out the four mule deer here. But the bottom line on this, so that's going to do it for this lake. Um, everything is here, plenty of them, lots of turkeys even. Uh, lots of mule deer, tremendous amount of um, stag, uh, bull, bull elk, 
a bunch of them, uh, fours and threes, um, taken out several fours. There's every time, uh, well, I've, I've made three trips here. Uh, there's, there's been a four, four level fours. I haven't gotten a level five to show up. Uh, and usually, uh, four or even five level three, um, elk. So everything here except bison and pronghorn and plenty of them with the exception of the bears in my case only four all right we'll move on to the other uh little lake down here which used to be a, another major hot spot uh for bears there would be uh, anywhere from 15 to 20 of them show up right here right just just a little bit north of the railroad tracks here but there used to be like 15 or 20 of them that would show up here and there used to be the same uh, up, up here at two fawns so we'll take a look at that third lake and that'll will complete the video okay i was just collecting the uh harvesting the carcasses uh so let's uh one last uh level four mule deer before we leave and go do that last uh little lake and see what what happened to it that might have been too low yeah that was too low and i've got the seven mil so i can't get a follow-up real quick Let's see if we can save this. Ah, I, you see, I, oh no, it was good. I thought it was too low, so real good. All right, and then we'll go down and do that uh, that last little uh, hot spot lake. This is the first four. That is, this isn't the one I just got, but look at him. He is magnificent. Now somehow I got a hundred percent on a a, a a flesh. How how did that? He's nice. How did that? Uh, I can't. Whoops! I've got the thing messed up. Somehow, a flesh wound uh, got a hundred percent, but not. Uh, oh shoot! I hit the wrong button. Sorry, guys. We'll go get that other four over here. But as I was picking that up, we have another mountain lion um, giving me a warning call right over here. Uh, like I say, they're here all, all the time, all the time. 24-7, and they hang out around the lake, it, it would be, I mean, normally, you know, for their feed zones and their rest zones, they would back off a couple of hundred yards, you know, two to 400 yards, um, but they are here around the shore 24 hours a day, man. Uh, I don't know if the developers want to take a look at that and adjust that or not but i i would uh i would suggest it this was the last one we'd got him right that got in there really good i thought i was too low but it it looks uh like it came in pretty good and he's a 240 that other one that i messed up that we just picked up was a 256 so actually better than this one all right let's let's go i'm gonna teleport or fast travel down here and we're going to do this last lake on this uh on this video um we'll do it for all the times for all the animals and let's see how it changed yeah we're gonna have the same problem down here on this little lake over here um this one this used to be a hot spot i mean there'd be you know 15 to 20 black bears all around this uh this end of this little lake uh, before they they reset it but now we, we already see that we're gonna have the same issue with the mountain lines if you look where I am on the map here um, I'm up on the top of this ridge looking down on the lake I'll move on down here because the only thing I can't see is this this side here the near side to me but if you look over here on the way up I found this Mountain lions until 1830 and mountain lions until 1800. And then we just spotted this one over here. So they're going to be eating over here in, these, in this region until about 1830. And their zone time starts at 2100 down here. And the bears start at 2000. So uh, again, going to be challenging and different. What I want to see is how many bears and and what gender they are when they show up here. Uh, the only zone I have here is for the elk. Uh, this is the first time here. 
So uh, we will reset the clock to 4.30 and check that out as well. And we'll check for the mule deer uh, at 1,500 and the uh, bighorn sheep also. The mountain goats are basically everywhere. Uh, they're here too. Well, we got one show up here uh, for the early bird special. <laughs> Let's see if any more. It, just the one. Just the one. We're early in their zone time, thankfully. I don't know if I want to take that shot at level 18 uh, without you know the perks and whatnot uh, of a leveled up uh, character my character is 18 um, I'm gonna wait I just can't see this near side but I'll go down there eventually you know what I'm gonna go ahead and take it because of the mountain lion situation, it's 350. Let's see what it looks like. Um, I can put the Gen Zero scope on. Oh, I don't need to. I think I was a little behind it. I didn't. I couldn't get the. I, I, I don't know. I was a little behind. Uh oh, there he is. A 50%. Uh, 25%. Yeah, I didn't get vital. We can try to save that. This will be a incredible uh, shot to pull off. Uh, <laughs> we got him. There we go. We got his splotch. Uh, you know, he was he was at twenty five percent. So no matter where I hit him, all right. <laughs> I really didn't want to do that. I don't know why I did. One thing about taking that shot from up here, uh, it's not going to spook anything that was coming in. Uh, they they it's too far away for them to hear the rifle shot in this game. Well, we got her coming in. There's the there's the five bear. <clears throat> See, she didn't. She's not affected by that gunshot. Just far out. I'll sit patiently. So she's gonna post up in the same spot, and ain't nothing else coming in. Um, <clears throat> big difference uh, from when there was a dozen or more here, huh? Oh, Muttley here trying to keep me from falling off the cliff. Good dog. Uh, you bump into me, though, and I'm going to kill you. So, um, just that. Now, I just got a mating call from a mountain lion. So, usually when you get the mating call, they'll be uh, about seven to ten minutes they'll show up. Yeah, here they come. See her? That's not because of me. That is because something is coming in over here. So we're gonna let her be. Yeah, she's uh now she there she goes. So guess what? Dirty dog, where are you? That's the five bear. Um, Muttley, you are an attention whore. You know, you're going to... I just don't want you to fall, boss. I don't want you to fall off, boss. Well, <clears throat> I don't want me to fall off either. So don't bump into me. Um, where is that thing? There 
it is. It's still in the trees over here. It is a male. A male putty tat. Well, he's going to come on in. He's got a ways to go. <sighs> Great one. Should have gotten it. You know, before the reset. I tried. You know, monthly. <laughs> what are you doing, boy? <laughs> there we go. A level one. A level one. You dirty dog. We're getting a warning call from the bear on the near side here. I can't see him on the near side because of the trees. So that's that two bear. Uh, that this sucker. Oh, we got some more. Uh, one. So they're coming in. Oh, we got a whole bunch of them. A seven. A two. And that warning call came from the two bear over here. I'm going to go down there. And there's another seven. So that's a <laughs> monthly. <laughs> Uh, so it's 2151. Uh, their zone time for the uh, cats started at uh, 2100. So uh, I'm going to go down there and uh, kill them. Because they're dirty dogs. I uh, plop down a tripod. That's the two. The other guys were back up in the trees. This was the side I could not see from up on that cliff. Whoops. There's a mythical. Well, we'll do that one. Was that a cat that just sounded like a bark? That sounded like a bark, didn't it? There's the seven. We'll get the mythical. Voiced. Pick it back up here. So that mythical was under the ridge. See, I was up there. So I couldn't see this side. Where'd it go? There it is. Hopefully it doesn't uh, stop behind those trees. <clears throat> I'll stop recording and pick up when I get a better view all right all right we are here back at that little lake uh that used to be a black bear hot spot uh to check out the um the mule deer zone as you can see we're we're also at the end of the um um bighorn sheep zone and this does not look like it's going to be a bighorn sheep hot spot <laughs> We'll wait for the muleys to show up. Uh, they got about another hour before they show up. And, of course, the mountain lions are ever-present. <laughs> I just got uh, a mating call back there from a mountain lion. They are just ever-present all around the lakes. And by ever-present, I mean 24 hours a day. Uh, they uh, have the mountain lions close to the lakes. And then they come in and mess with the bears and the elk and everything else mountain lion just sprinted right past me it just pooped right there by my by Muttley's nose my dog's nose right there there's his tracks just sprinted right past me it is 1530 we're half an hour into the mule deer zone and we have a stinking mountain lion run right in front of me uh and uh, that's what i mean they um they need to uh tweak that um I uh, need to turn that down. Dial it down a little bit there, uh, Code Riders. You dirty dogs. You know what I'm going to do? Since they're right back there, the mountain lions, I'm going to shoot one of these and just scare them the heck out of there. You know, there was a two. Might as well take the two. I mean, um, oh, shoot, I still have the night vision scope on from last night, but it, that's okay. I can see just fine.
that's just to get the mountain lions out of the area. I'm tracking down that one that ran past me. Uh, this is max weight. This is a max weight mountain lion. And it just ran right past me and pooped on my dog's nose. <laughs> so let's get him out of here. But this could be a mythical or a uh, diamond even. I heard it growl. It's close. But I'm chasing it off. They're not supposed to be here till 2100. And it is 1530 for crying out loud. Yeah, that's a female that he called over. But he went this way. Nope, not that. I want this. Thank you. Well, I'm going to keep chasing them. Um, he growled. Show your face, you dirty dog. Come get some. It's gonna be in a clearing past these trees. And he'll bolt. What am I zeroing for? Let me zero in closer. It's gonna bolt. He's gonna bolt before I get eyeballs on him. level one is those blue tracks up that way. This one is still growling at me. They have a zone right there. You see them? I don't see them. It doesn't do any good to use a collar on them when they're making that noise. Because the collar's for food, and they're not interested in food. You can call all you want when they're making that noise. That noise right there. They won't respond. Ah, dang it. That's not what I wanted. Come on, give me my binoculars. I don't think it's that far away. You know what I'll do? We'll just bull charge it. Get the heck out of here. Because I'm losing patience and I want to get back there for the mule deer. I can't 
Let's see them. Well, at least two of them are here. I can't see them. I'm going to go back. Hopefully, uh, I've chased them far enough off. All right, I sneak sneaking on back. Looks like we do have some mule deer going to show up. And like I say, we're still in the, uh, it's not 1600 yet. So it's still time for the, uh, the bighorns to be here. I'm going to get in the stand before I take that. It looks like it's the only one, but I'm going to just sit tight and uh, see if we get a herd to come in. I'm up in the stand. And uh, why am I whispering? <laughs> and uh, no more have come in, just the one. So, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. And the, the, the mountain lions are not supposed to come back, you know. They're not supposed to be here for another, uh, you know, five hours of game time. They've been hanging around, um, every lake we visited so far, they've been hanging around all day long. All right, so I reset the clock to 2200, <clears> the <throat> same little lake. So we are one hour into the black bear zone. Now, we did have black bears here earlier when I did this uh, on the video the other day. Oh, there he is. So this guy's already been run off. Uh, so that um, <clears throat> black bear zone it says uh, you have four hours in game time, one hour real life time to hunt black bears around lakes. And it's a lie. That is a lie. Because uh, here it is one hour into it. Now that, that male that just, he's already run off uh, because the uh, mountain lions are going to come in. I came back here specifically to get that max weight uh, mountain lion. Now the wind has changed. In the daytime, it's in my face here. Right now it's at my back. And that's that black bear. Now he wants to come into his zone, but he cannot. He cannot. Uh, the, the mountain lions have been growling in the area. Um, it's an hour into their zone. It's after 2200. The mountain lions start at 2100. The bears start at 2000. And right now the lake is completely empty. 